Do your queen excluders look like that? I will show you how to take your queen excluder, which looks like this, to this. And it's very simple. So let's get started. So we're gonna get this fire going, get it hot, put the rack up, and then we'll put the barrel on top and start filling it with hot water. So we're gonna let that burn as I get things ready. Now another way to clean your queen excluders is to use a heat gun. And I only have one or two hives, you're only going to have two excluders. And you just take a, uh, a deep pan which will hold one of the queen excluders and usually one of those gray bus pans that you see in restaurants and you hold it in there and you take your heat gun and you just run it along and all the wax will drip down and that is a simple simple way to do it like I said if you have one or two even five but once you get 20 I found it for myself necessary to find a faster method because along with that the production of wax increased and I needed to find a way to deal with the increase of wax. After my queen excluders, if I had any um, frames, if I had any frames or um, foundations, frames with foundations in them to dip, I would do that. down stop the fire I don't think so I don't think I can get any wood in there until that burns down let's see if I can show you from my perspective so that film on top is actually wax
camera's fogging up here. Yeah, let's see if I can show you. A little longer. Do another one. Don't have many left. Smells wonderful. Just like when a beeswax candle is burning. That looks good. Camera keeps vlogging. But you get the idea. I think this is important. It helps keep hive health in tip top shape. It's important to take care of your equipment. Yep, I have one more. We'll get this one done. A bit longer. Mm 
And there you have it. Clean excluders. All clean and ready for next year's season.